Hi, this is Bilal from Speckle and this is Speckle's 3D Viewer Visual for Power BI. It allows you to see your Speckle data that would be coming from Revit, Rhino, SketchUp, Archicad, any application we support and see it in 3D inside Power BI and start interacting with it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download it and start using it in Power BI. Without further ado, let's get started. Similar to our Power BI connector, the Viewer Visual is also downloaded from the GitHub repo. I'm going to add the link to this repo in the description of this video. And similar to Power BI connector, again, we are going to go to the releases page. By the way, the download method and the installation methods may change in the future with the development of the connector, just so you know. So in this video, I'm going to download the latest version at the time of this recording, which is 2.0 alpha 8. Let's go its page, but you can download whatever version you want. I'm going to go its page and simply download the PBI vis file from this repo, right? So it is downloaded and I'm going to open Power BI. So once you're in Power BI, importing the visual is actually pretty simple. Simply go to the visualizations pane. If it's collapsed, simply expand it and click on this three dot right here and select this option, import a visual from a file. I'm going to select this and it will open this dialog and it'll take you probably automatically to the downloads page, a downloads folder. I'm going to select the PBI this file and click open. So import was successful. Let's click OK. And once you do that, you should see the speckle icon uh, inside the visualization pane. So I'm going to click on this icon and it will add the viewer into your main window. Let's expand this and make it a bit bigger. OK, so how do I use it now? Obviously, in order to use it, you need a data that is coming from speckle, right? And I have an example data, which I'm also going to add to the description of this video. So I'm going to simply copy its link and click on get data inside Power BI. And search for speckle. And here I will select this second option and click on connect. Which will open this dialog. I'm going to paste the URL I just copied from the browser and click OK. So now it will start downloading the data from the Speckle server. Let's click on load and it is loaded. So we have received the data from the Speckle server. We have the visual installed and loaded in the active session. So how do I use it now? Once you select the viewer visual, you would see some inputs in the visualization pane, right? We have the stream URL, commit object ID, object ID, etc. So the first three, these are required in order to see your model in 3D, right? The first three are required. The color by option allows you to color your model by a parameter you defined from the received data. And tooltip data is also similar to that. It allows, once you select an element in the viewer visual, you can see some data you want as a tooltip in the viewer, right? Uh, I'm gonna record a separate video for these two other options, right? So in this video, we are going to cover the first three. So let's expand the data we received from the speckle. And you will probably realize that it's pretty similar to what these inputs are asking for, right? We have a column for stream URL. Let's drag this as the stream URL input. We have another column for commit object ID. I'm going to drag this as the commit object ID input. And we have another one for the object ID. So once you connect these three, you will see your model in 3D. As you can see, it is pretty pretty fast and it looks pretty good. So now you can see your speckle data in 3D inside Power BI with this visual. If you have any questions or if you faced any issues, please let us know at speckle.community. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.